What's up, Brad? Oh, that's the lean, baby. You got good today. Madeline, I hope your legs are okay. You're feeling all right. She's got the crutches. Look at these teachers ready to rock. What's up, you three? Welcome to the show, guys. Today, it's our three students to the right and my teachers to the left from Highland Regional High School in Camden County, New Jersey. They are officially in the classroom. It's the show that lets students try to prove that they're smarter than their teachers, right? Easier said than done. Hey, the best schools, they always show up with a busload of followers. Look at them out there. That is the coolest mascot I've ever seen. Hey, it's winner take all. Today, it's cash, it's bragging rights, it's contestants, it's game time, it's pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, hands are warmed up, buzzers are filled up with gas. It is game time, guys, let's play. The abbreviation FBI stands for what U.S. government organization? First one in, Brad. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Good. Joseph Stalin was the leader of what country during World War II? Mr. Carvalho. Russia. Good. What organ in the human body is also called the voice box? Mr. Mervis. The larynx. Larynx, right. Chester Cheetah is the mascot for what Frito-Lay snack? Mrs. Blash. It's Cheetos. Cheetos, and that gets all the teachers on the board early here. Extra credit question, this is worth double. In 2016, what baseball team won their first World Series in 108 years? Brad. The Chicago Cubs. Good, you just tied the game 30 points apiece. What is six multiplied by nine? Mr. Mervis. 54. 54, good quick math. What Netflix show stars Penn Badgley as a New York bookstore manager who becomes obsessed with a woman who visits his shop? Squish. You. You, that's my wife's favorite show. That's a fun fact. Lemurs are native to what island? Brad. Madagascar. Madagascar. In F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, what is the narrator's relationship to Daisy? Brad again. It's his, um, cousin. Yeah, there it is. What singer is married to actress Jessica Biel? Mrs. Blash. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, Mr. Handsome himself, right? How many moons does the planet Mars have? Brad. Two. Two is right. What is the first and last name of the author of the 95 Theses? Theses. Brad. Martin Luther. Martin Luther is right. How about it? Whoa, whoa. Somebody's hot. And his name is Brad over here. Brad single-handedly takes control of the game, <laughs> rattles off 80 points. Students, you guys have been rocking it. Squish the whole gang over there, playing well. Teachers, 50 points for you. You guys all got involved. I'm going to call that a great start to our game today. Thanks for being here. How about it? It's the students and teachers from Highland Regional High School in Blackwood, New Jersey. There's the mascot. He's the tartan. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Squish. I'm a senior. I'm the president of NHS, and I'm ready to win. Hi, I'm Madeline Skeena, and I'm a senior, and I'm president of Renaissance, and I like to read and bake in my free time. Hi, I'm Brad. Um, I'm a senior, and I'm the captain of the swim team, and I like history. Hi, I'm Mrs. Blash. I teach business, and I'm the current keeper of the Highland Spirit Stick. Hi, I'm Mr. Mervis. I teach science, and I'm actually a Highland graduate, and these kids haven't completed their high school yet, so I don't know if they're ready to win. Hi, my name is Mr. Carvalho. I teach engineering, and the students better get ready because the paint train just left the station. <laughs> To Mr. Carvalho, how about it? The paint train has left the station, but does he end up in detention? We're going to find out right now. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, game time, and we are playing detention. We're going to start with the trailing team. Teachers, you got 50 points on the board. Mrs. Blash, you look good in your war paint over here. And I'm going to give you guys the first category. Here we go. Government. 
Do you love that? Do you hate it? Do you pass it over here to the students? Do you know? Do you know? Nah, really. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. Squish, Madeline, and Brad, good luck. <laughs> What is the name of the international organization that was established in 1945 as a successor to the League of Nations? United Nations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, United Nations? That's right, Squish. Nicely done. You take the pass and you said, got it. And now you get to send one of your teachers to detention. Really enjoy this moment, you three. Who's it going to be? Uh, Mr. Mervis. Mr. Mervis, our science teacher. The Mervinator, they call him out there. <laughs> Looking good. He takes a nice, slow walk. This is only a 30-minute show, Mr. Mervis. <laughs> Feel free to hustle. <laughs> and now we go back to you guys. How about it? You controlled on the pass, and the category goes back to you. Here it is. Do you guys love or hate chemistry? Oh. As we sent the science teacher to detention. We'll take it. We're going to take it. In chemistry, what is the term for any homogeneous mixture in which one substance is dissolved in another? What? Solution. Solution is right. Students, two for two, controlling the game right now. You gotta say though, your science teacher is in detention. Did you learn that from him? No. no. <laughs> Who's another great science teacher? All right, guys, who are we gonna send? We gotta double it up. Uh, Mr. Carvalho. Mr. Carvalho, tech ed, engineering, out of the game. this we get left with the spirit stick holder mrs blash the business teacher Correct. and here is your category it's all about books turned movies i'll play we're gonna play well good luck thank you for the game where the students sweep emily jack nora and leah are characters in what 2018 coming of age movie about a teenage boy with a huge secret You're squinting at me. Uh-oh. No answer? No. The answer, love, Simon. And how about this? No. Miss Flash, I invite you to detention with the rest of your teachers. Students, sweep the round. Go squish. How about it? Pass that down the line. You guys are rocking. Take 40 points. The students are up to 120 points on the game. And when we come back, you guys good at spelling? I'll tell you what. I'm going to test you. We'll see you after the break. today to students and teachers from Highland Regional High School in Cannon County. Now, I'm almost calling this world-renowned because th this guy standing next to me is the cutest mascot we've ever had on the show. Look at the size of this nose. He's got the kilt on. Veronica, correct? Yes. What are we looking at? What is this guy? So our mascot's name, Scotty, and a tartan is just a pattern like kilt, like the skirt. So this is, okay, so the tartan is the mascot. The skirt is the game. This guy's pretty rocking, and he just goes around school. I'll tell you what, can you even spell tartan? I'll tell you, we're going to spell check next and it's gonna take some spelling. I love you though. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're gonna win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing will get 10 points for their team. Today's theme is all about art terms. We're going to start with the team leading the game right now, and that's students, 120. That, your topic is all about art. Good luck. Here we go. First word, brush. B-R-U-S-H. Good job, Squish. <laughs> Here we go, teachers. Paints. P-A-I-N-T-S. Good. Medium. M-E-D-I-U-M. -E Good job. Primary, as in the primary colors. P-R-I-M-A-R-Y. Good job, Mr. Mervis. Marble. M-A-R-B-L-E. Good job, Brad. Pottery. P-O-T-T-E-R-Y. Good job. Abstract. A-B-S-T-R-A-C-T. The students stay perfect. Portrait. P-O-T-R-A-C-T. 
You were just dancing your way to that one right there. All right, you're out of the game, and we move back over to you. Graphite. Oh, jeez. G-R-A-P-H-I-T-E. Good job. And she's rocking it on crutches. You got to respect it. Landscape. L-A-N-D-S-C-A-P-E. Good job. Acrylic. A-C-R. Y-L-I-C. Good job, Brad. Mosaic. M-O-S-A-I-C. Good job, Mr. Carvalho. Charcoal. Uh, C-H-A-R-C-O-A-L. Nice job, Squish. Oh my God. Sculpture, words are getting tougher here. S-C-U-L-P-T-U-R-E. And he handles it. <laughs> Turpentine. <laughs> um, T U R M. Sorry, you're out of there. Leaving our two on each side. Illustration. I L L U S T R A T I O N. Wow, nicely done. Shut it down. We got yeah. some spellers playing here. Brad and Squish on the student side, Mervis and Carvalho left on the teacher side. We got points everywhere. Teachers get up to 70 points. Students up to 140. Now, before we go to break, I have more points on the line. They deserve it. Who wants some extra credit? <laughs> what an honor today. Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, right here on Fox 29, is asking our extra credit question today. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. A correct answer here is worth 10 points. You guys ready to hear the question? Here it is. Meredith. Hey, Richard, let's see who's smarter, the kids or the teachers. Here's your extra credit question. In what African country is Mount Kilimanjaro located? Think you know it? Well, I'll have the answer for you right after the break. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Highland Regional High School in Camden County. The score of students are in the lead, 140 points. Over top of your teachers with 70 points. Now, before the break, Meredith Vieira, host of 25 Words or Less, asked both teams this extra credit question. In what African country is Mount Kilimanjaro located? Students, let's see your answer. Oh, sorry. Tanzania? Teachers, let's see your answer. We said Kenya. Meredith, what do you say we crown a champion here right on the extra credit? What do you say? So let's see how smart you are. The correct answer is Tanzania. Did you get it? Okay. <laughs> Students got it. How about it? Get you up to 150. Tanzania is the right answer. And Squish, you're a 12th grade. You're loving business at your school. Yep. What are you doing next year? Uh, college. College? Great. Yeah. Study that. I'll tell you what, you got to deal with some money before that, though. Yep. We got 500 on the line today. What are you going to do if you win it? Oh, uh, we're going to donate to a student who's currently at CHOP um, for a serious condition. Wow. Well, I hope you guys uh, can, can extend that money to him with yes. a big win here and today. You guys are on your way. Before you, I would like to give you. Oh, we got <laughs> gifts. Let's go. Highland Tartans. Highland Spirit Fun. Yes. I'll tell you what, if it has that mascot inside of here, I'm going to be one <laughs> happy man. Teachers. What are you going to do with that 500 if you win it? We're playing for Highland's Care Closet. Oh, awesome. And the Care Closet is just for? It just stocks with uh, clothes, food for those in need. Awesome. Well, two, two great things on two great sides. I'll tell you what, you guys will have me singing beautiful songs. But I'll tell you what, Mike Jerick might be next in music class. Teams, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then you guys know him. He's become a legend here on the classroom. It's Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. He's going to read a small portion of those lyrics. The first person to buzz in correctly answer my question is going to win 10 points for their team. Guys, if you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your entire side is locked out. The other side can jump in and steal the points. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here we go. What performer raps these lyrics in a 2012 song? Welcome to the show, Mike. 
All right, here's your first one. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with my ceiling missing. We got a stumper. The answer, it's two chains. I'm different. What a jam right there. Mike, no right answer there, but we are going to follow it up here with the next question. What band sings these lyrics in a 2014 song? Good luck, Mike. You're going to need it. Number two. Your lipstick stain is a work of art. I got your name tattooed in an arrow heart. And I know now that I'm so down. Hey! <laughs> back to back stumpers. The audience is dying to answer this one. Hold it. The answer, I'm going to give it to you. Five seconds of summer. She looks so perfect. That was the song of the summer right there. I'll tell you what, guys, you have one more chance for some points before going into the final exam, and here they are. What performer co-wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2019 song? It's one of my favorites. Here we go, Mike. This last one's kind of sad. <clears throat> Come on, little lady. Give us a smile. No, I ain't got nothing to smile about. I got no one to smile for. I'm feeling the sadness here. If we go sweep, no right answers in music class. Guys, we got to turn the radios up in the car. Palsy Nightmare was that one. Another absolute banger of a song. A big thanks to Mike Jarrett for that performance. He always crushes it. I'm telling you, we're going to get radios in these cars. But scores, 150 students, teachers, 70 points. A lot is on the line. $500 cash, guys, and bragging rights. And we figure out who's going to do it right now with final exam. It's all about topics, and today is metals and alloys. How about that one? I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to bank them 100 points. You guys will write down your answer during the commercial break. Before we do that, I'm going to give you these questions. We're going to see how well you do. First question, let's do it. Final exam, here it is. What is the name of the reddish metal with the atomic number 29 that is used as a conductor in electrical wires? Question two, all about metals and alloys. What book character wields Riptide, a sword made of celestial bronze, an alloy that can hurt monsters and magical creatures, but does not affect mortals? What is that? I don't know, we're gonna find out. How about this one? What is the term for the physical property of metals that defines the ability to be hammered or rolled into thin sheets without breaking? Three questions all about metals and alloys. You guys know them. Is it going to be Brad, Madeline, and Squish? Or will it be Mrs. Blash, Mr. Mervis, and Mr. Carvalho coming from behind to beat the students in just 60 seconds? We're coming back, and we're crowning a classroom champion. Get involved. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today, it's been a big game for the students and teachers from Highland Regional High School. Look, students, you're in the lead. You guys have been playing a great game today. 150 points for you. Teachers, you've been playing a great game, too. 70 points on the board and in striking distance here in the final exam. The topic today, how about this one? They got a tech ed teacher, so it's going to be good. Metals and alloys is all about what we're talking about. How well are they going to do? We have three questions that separates a champion. Let's do this thing. Question one, final exam. Here it was. What is the name of the reddish metal with the atomic number 29 that is used as a conductor in electrical wires? We're going to start with our teachers. Mr. Carvalho, you work with stuff like this all the time in your engineering lab. That's right. What did you say? Our answer is copper. Copper is right. Gets you to 170. Nicely done. Yeah. Okay, Brad. You ever take, you ever take his class? No, I did not. All right, well, hopefully that you still have the right answer here. What did you say? Did you say copper? I said copper as well. There you go. Get you guys there. Up to 250. We move on to question two. What book character wields Riptide, a sword made of celestial bronze, an alloy that can hurt monsters and magical creatures, but does not affect mortals? Teachers, over to you, Mr. Mervis. 
we said Percy Jackson. Which is right and gets yeah. you to 270 and the lead. Natalie, what did you say? Percy Jackson. Also Percy Jackson and back in the lead. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Here's your winner. What is the term for the physical property of metals that defines the ability to be hammered or rolled into thin sheets without breaking? We crowned someone with this question. Teachers, you gotta get, or students, get ready to party. You said? Malleability. Yeah. That is correct. Get you to 370. And how about it? All the pressure is now on these three students. Squish, you got the greatest nickname I've ever heard in the world. But you have the right answer, which is going to crown you $500, and that money is going to a student in need. You said? Malleability. How about it, students? Win $450. Get out here and get your check, guys. What a game here in the classroom. You guys are rocking. Here comes the tartan. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time with $500 more dollars on the line. Look at this guy. Oh, I love you. The fun continues wherever you are. Follow the classroom on social and keep watching. Weeknights at 6.30 p.m. on Fox 29.